Here at BOPA, we are a independent 501c3 nonprofit organization. We serve as the Arts Council, Events Producer, and Film Office for Baltimore City. We are committed to supporting artists, creatives at all stages of their career by enhancing the diverse artistic voices of the Baltimore City arts community, while also investing in the projects that represent significant growth and artistic development of individual artists, creatives, and organizations. We are also committed to employing a fair and equitable process for artists, creatives, and organizations to ex access funding opportunity, opportunity, excuse me, and additional support. Today, we will be discussing the Communities Thrive Grant. This, this grant supports small, excuse me, many more people. This grant supports small and mid-sized arts organizations and the production and pre presentation of artistic work accessible to the general public within the city of Baltimore. The grant supports the production of projects in the arts and cultural disciplines of performing arts, media arts, visual arts, and literary arts. We are also welcoming all online arts projects. The Communities Thrive Grant supports in whole or in part specific art projects that demonstrate originality, vision, and benefit or interest to the community. Submissions are evaluated and scored by a panel of independent arts and cultural professionals appointed through open nominations. This year, we will be granting a total of $30,000 to the community. Um, all organizations will have the opportunity to apply for up to about five, not about, up to $5,000, sorry. <laughs> um, all that can apply are arts, cultural organizations and community groups who fall under the 501c3 status located in Baltimore City. Now, if you are an arts or cultural organization or community group, and you do not fall under the status, you may also collaborate with an organization that does and have them, you know, have them apply on your behalf. The application timeline, so the application is officially available. Um, if you go on our website, uh, we'll get into that a little down the slide. Um, the, the application will close May 13th of 2022. The review period will be from May 16th to June 3rd of 2022, and all applicants will be notified by June 6, 2022. Now, as far as for your project that you're applying for, it must land between July 1st, 2022 and June 30th, 2023. And then all final reports will be due July 1st of 2023. Applicants must provide either independently certified, audited, or reviewed financial statements for fiscal year 2020 and fiscal year 2021 for their organization's annual budget. Applicants must also have a certificate of good standing certifying that the applicant is registered with a nonprofit corporation of good standing in the state of Maryland. Hello, and I may ask that everyone mute their um, audio also, please. Thank you. Okay. Those that cannot apply are individual artists slash creatives, um, organizations that have received a Community Thrives Grant you know, last year, uh, units of government, inc including K through 12 school districts, public colleges and universities and libraries, um, organizations that are the primary responsibility of a government agency, as well as private K through 12 schools and private libraries. And finally, organizations that are not in good standing with BOPA and or not in compliance with previous grants. So let's say that you, you know, you were granted for free fall last year, but your organization did not turn in a final report, then you would not be eligible to apply for this. Some funding restrictions. Um, one second. Okay, so the funds cannot be used for um, religious ceremonies or events advancing or inhibiting a particular religious ideology. Um, you may not use it also for fundraising or advocacy of specific political causes or candidates. 
Um, you may not use it for capital improvements such as facilities and equipment, uh, agents, fees for programs contracted through commercial agencies. Uh, you may not use it for traveling outside of the United States. And of course, your project must be in Baltimore City. Now, just a quick few things you may know or may not know, but uh, Bobo does not own, collect royalties on, or hold copyrights to artistic products resulting from its grants, nor will it take any action on behalf of the grantee. Uh, to protect the grantee's intellectual property rights, excuse me. Bobo does, does, however, have legal authority to you know, reproduce and use submitted documentation um, electronically and printed you know, for of such artistic products for educational, promotional, official, official or non-commercial purposes. Now, how do you apply for the grant? I would best recommend, now, if this isn't your first time applying, then you already are aware of our um, submittables account, but, you know, an easier, the best, easiest way to apply, I would say, was, is to go to promoandarts.org. From there, you will go to our grants tab, um, where you will find the Community Thrives Organizational Project Grant. Um, from there, they will, you know, direct you to create an account with submittables if you do not already. And then you will then be able to apply for the grant. Excuse me. The application itself, it has 20 questions in total. Um, some of the questions, they offer video responses, which I think is pretty cool because not everyone, you know, enjoys writing per se, their thoughts. <laughs> also, we are only accepting completed applications, meaning all, all excuse me, questions are answered and appropriate documents are provided. Um, the rubric for the panel reviewers, for each question, they will be um, checking to see if it meets and exceeds all benchmarks, which is a five, and then it goes down from there. Four meets most benchmarks, three meets some benchmarks, two meets few benchmarks, one, none at all, excuse me, does not meet any benchmarks, and then zero, of course, if you leave a question unanswered. Now, anything that scores lower than a two will not be considered for funding. Here are a few frequently, frequently asked questions. Um, if I am a Baltimore County organization that serves Baltimore City residents, can I apply? No, you cannot, unfortunately, sorry. All of the funds are allocated to Baltimore City-based organizations and artists. Um, does my organization that I am working with have to be an art and cultural organization? The organization that, now this is for um, if you need to collaborate with a 501c3 organization. They do not have to be an arts organization for as long as they follow fall under the status of 501c3. Um, my project is partially funded. Can I still apply? Yes, the project uh, it supports in whole or in part, you know, specific art projects. So it is no restrictions if you already have funding somewhere else for this project. Um, what would be considered an online arts project? Any arts project that, that falls under the acceptable disciplines. So like, you know, if you have a performance and you have a creative way to display your programming, you know, virtually, we definitely accept that, um, you know, pretty self-explanatory, excuse me. And then who is responsible for the final report? All arts organizations, you know, that created the project are responsible for their final report. Just a reminder, all final reports are due July 1st of 2023. Uh, grant, grantees will have access to the report by June 1st of 2023. Um, when does my programming have to take place? Of course, your program must take place between July 1st and June 30th, excuse me, July 1st, 2022, and June 30th, 2023. Also, of course, and it must, you know, your project must take place in Baltimore City. Um, and now I will open the floor for any maybe additional questions, but if you have any questions after this info session, feel free to give me an email you know, at dshacklet at promotion and the art, oh, excuse me, promotion and arts, no the, <laughs> or my director, Jacqueline Downs at jdowns and at promotion and the arts. And next, um, 
now I'm going to stop sharing. Do we have any questions necessarily about anything? Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, hello, uh, sir. Yes, I, I thought I was joining an, an in progress uh, oh. grant information. So, Am sorry. I incorrect? No, you're correct. Uh, the slideshow just ended. Um, my apologies. Oh. I thought you were unmuting to ask a question. <laughs> oh. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't know I understood oh, no that. I apologize, it's a no bit hectic. I'm, I'm actually in mourning. My father just passed away and I, oh, I so noticed sorry. this and um, thank you. Uh, I saw it and I, I didn't know if you might be posting it. Um, yes, ma'am. Um, the, the session is being recorded, so we definitely will all right. you know, provide it for everyone. Uh, yeah. May I ask your name, sir? Of course, my name is Devin Shacklett. And are you... Uh, the uh, uh what position do you uh hold in um with in, in yes, the state I'm, I'm a pro program coordinator for the arts council for the board for the arts council yes uh, but yes like i said the session will be available to everyone if you want to you know check out the information that was provided or also a lot of the information uh, is available on the application itself so I, I literally just saw something that's, I, 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 I'm not kidding, and it said the date, and I said to myself, that's today, and that's 15 minutes ago, and I said, um, and I wasn't thinking that I was going to be able to be seen because I'm in mourning, but I'm also ill, and, and so I, um, I apologize for this, um, and so I, I wasn't able, I was able to read about, like, I, I read a bit about the, I saw the date, I, I didn't see anything about 